I have a kiln is at um, 1683 degrees and I'm hoping that we can uh, take a little peek at how it looks inside there. If I move closer and I'm going to see that it's quite pinky red hot in there. Let's see the pieces in there. We'll be ready to open in a few minutes. All right now the kiln's at 1700 and it's been sitting there for about three minutes. So to be very, I'm going to be taking the stuff out. I'm going to turn the kiln off and I'm going to unplug it to make sure I don't get any kind of electrical shock. Now I'm going to open the door and grab the pieces by the front of the machine. And I'm going to be dropping them into the reduction chamber and it immediately, as you can see, catches fire. And then I'm going to be throwing some sawdust in there to add to the beauty of it. Let it fire for a minute. Get this kiln shut and save the heat we have in there. Now that that's good and firing up, put a lid on. Smoke away. I'm going to tap that on a little better so that we don't really know how the smoke coming out anymore. It's going to explode. <laughs> you can still see the smoke coming out. It's going to stay in here about 10 minutes. That'll be after that, once that's been in there for 10 minutes, we'll be putting it in the water. All right, now we think they've been in here about 10 minutes. I'm going to bang the lid off, and I'm going to get it open. Ah, there it is. It's open. Now I'm going to drop the hot chamber into um, the water. <laughs> and there we go. Oh. Oh. Wow. And then now sit in there for a second to cool off. I'll pick them out of there. I'll be scrubbing them now with some nail file brush. I'll get a chance to see what we got. It's 